What's up guys, welcome to this video. So you guys can tell from the title, it's going to be a little bit different than my normal vlogs. It's going to be my top five favorite and most effective ab exercises that I implement in my normal workouts. I'm going to take you guys through it. We're going to go to the gym. Courtney and I are going to go into the gym in about 20 minutes. I'm going to walk you guys through all five exercises, give you guys a beginner, intermediate, and an advanced way to do it so all fitness levels will be able to do this workout. And that's pretty much it. Sit back, relax, enjoy the video, guys. Drop a like if you guys do. I really, really do appreciate it. It really does help the channel out. And let's do it. Bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always has The first exercise I'm actually gonna do in the order of my favorite to least favorite. So the first thing we're gonna do is right behind us. It is the Roman chair, captain's chair, leg lifts. You guys will notice a trend. I like to do a lot of leg lifting movements. I think three out of the five exercises are actually leg lifting movements. Okay, so the first way we're gonna do this is gonna be the beginner way. Leg lifts with bent knees. It's a little bit easier to have your uh, weight a little closer to the pivot point, which is your hips in this situation. So it's gonna be simple. It's just gonna be up, slight pause at the top as well. Make sure every single rep for all ab exercises you're doing, you're fully exhaling because it helps contract the abs to their full extent. So it's gonna be Hesitating, kryptonite desire set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire. The intermediate way to do this is just the same exact thing we just did, but have your straight legs. Since your weight's gonna be a little bit further out than your pivot point, it's gonna make it a little bit harder. Strapping up. So the last way to do this, I know a lot of you guys might not have this, but if you guys have ankle weights, it works just as good, but I actually really, really like this method. I'd recommend either a 10 or a 25, but you're simply just gonna have it like this. It's gonna be weighted right about here. Same exact movement. Second exercise is going to be another leg lifting movement. It's going to be hanging leg raises. The first variation is going to be super simple. It's just going to be knee raises. Second variation is just going to be the same thing I just did. You're going to do straight legs. And always hesitating, kryptonite desire set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire. Final variation is going to be the same exact thing. I'm adding ankle weights to my ankles. Alright guys, this is the third exercise we're going to do. It's going to be um, decline bench crunch twists and it's going to hit a little bit of the obliques as well as the abs. The first variation we're going to do is actually going to be on a flat surface because as you guys know, the more decline of it you go, the harder it's going to be because you're going against gravity. Uh, the intermediate and advanced way, we're actually going to do it on a decline bench over there. But this is beginner, basically just a sit up twist. So you're going to have something on your feet so you don't have to worry about planting your feet and stabilizing yourself because you want to be able to focus on your abs. So I have this 25 pound plate right here. So you're going to crunch up, breathe out, twist to one side, basically work on touching your elbow to your knee, back down, same thing the other side, alternate reps. The 
Your variation is going to be the same exact thing. You're just going to be on a decline bench, so it may adds a little bit more difficulty naturally. I prefer when I do this to have my hands not against my chest, to have them a little bit more out. It gives me a little bit more structure as I'm twisting. So you guys can do this, but I prefer to have it a little bit out, and I don't actually like to touch my hands together. I like to go like this. We're gonna go straight into the third one. The third one's super simple, third variation, the advanced way. You just hold a little bit of weight in your hand. Same thing, I don't like to have it right against my chest. I like to hold it out a little bit more. It just helps me with my structure. This is the fourth exercise, fourth exercise uh, of my routine right here. And it's gonna be super simple, decline leg lifts. The decline bench is too hard for you. You guys can always do it on a flat surface. You can do it on either a flat bench or you can just do leg lifts on the ground. Uh, for this variation, the beginner one, I'm just gonna do bent knees, kind of similar to what we did up there. The second variation is just gonna be the same exact thing I did, but you're just gonna do straight legs. The advanced way to do this is just simply to add a little bit of weight to it. So we're gonna do ankle weights for this. This is really, really effective. How heavy are these? Like uh, two to three pounds? No, I think they're five pounds. You don't really need a whole lot of weight for this. Even two pounds on your legs is gonna be plenty because it's so far away from your pivot point, it's gonna add a lot of extra weight. Same thing, straight legs. You can have a slight bend in your knees. Pause at the top. <laughs> My fifth and final exercise is going to be mainly focused on obliques here and a lot of you guys actually know this exercise is very very popular. I don't recommend doing a lot of oblique work with weighted. I like to do body weight stuff. I don't even like to directly target my obliques too much. I'd say about 20% of my ab workouts revolve around strictly oblique work. The rest of it's just abs. So here we go. It's going to be the weighted side bend with three different variations. So the first variation is going to be super simple. It's just going to be body weight and on this you want to focus on breathing and then contracting your abs. You make sure you want to squeeze at the top as well because this is what's going to give your abs the workout. So here we go. Squeeze. And although it's not, you're not using any weight, if you still focus on the breathing and you're contracting your abs and your, your oblique specifically, you still are going to feel it. So the second variation is going to be a twist. You're going to grab a weight, it doesn't have to be super heavy at all. Once again, you don't want to go heavy, super heavy on these. You don't want to build the, the thickness of your obliques necessarily. So for me, I like to do this even with a 10 pound weight, but for example, for this example, I'm gonna use a 25 pound weight. So it's gonna be like in a curl position, slight bend with your arms about six inches out from your stomach. So not against it, hold it out. The advanced way to do this would just be the same thing for beginner, but you're going to use this 25 pound weight. I don't recommend going any heavier than this. I usually use like a 15 if I do this. Nice and slow and controlled. That is all five exercises, guys. So I'm going to see you guys back home and I'll end the video there. So we just got back from the gym. I'm gonna give you guys a little physique update since it has been a while since I've done one of those. This is kind of midday. I usually do all my physique updates early in the morning. So it's gonna be a little bit different. I already had a couple meals today so I may be a little bit puffier than what I normally am. But here we go.
that's gonna wrap up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. A couple reminders before I end this video. Don't neglect your diet. Your diet plays a huge role in revealing your abs. You guys can build up your abs as much as you want in the gym, but if you have even a slight layer of fat uh, in your midsection, then your abs aren't gonna show at all. So to get those strong, structured abs, you wanna make sure you're in a caloric deficit to lose that last layer of body fat while you're still building them up in the gym. And another question I get is the frequency. How much, how often I should do abs, how long I should do abs. For my online clients, I generally do a three to four day plan. If they request they want to do abs six days a week, then I'll obviously do a six day plan for them. But I found the sweet spot for ab development while not getting bored of doing ab workouts like every single day. I found it three to four days a week is absolutely perfect. And then you want to make sure you're also doing it year round as well. A lot of people neglect doing abs during the off season just because you can't see it during that time. But keep in mind, when you guys are in your off season, the next step is going to be cutting down. So you want to make sure you're developing your abs in the off season so when you do start your cut and you do lose that layer of body fat, your abs are already well developed. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did find it informative or you did enjoy it, please drop a like on the video. It helps YouTube help me with the algorithms and everything like that. If you guys are interested in working with me on a closer basis, a more personal basis, be sure to check that link in the description down below for my website. I do fully custom workout meal and ab routines, full email check-ins, all that kind of stuff. You guys have full access to my email so you guys can ask any questions 24-7. I usually have a fairly quick response rate. I don't really talk about this a whole lot, but if you guys are in the LA area, I am a NASM certified personal trainer. I do do online, I do do not only online coaching, but I do private training sessions in LA as well through a private training gym just down the street from where I live. Shoot me an email if you guys are interested in that and I'd love to work with some of you guys in person as well. That's it. I'll see you guys soon. This video is going to be uploaded tomorrow so you guys have something to look forward to to start your week and I'll see you guys soon.